today I'm going to give you three options for something other than a melons on a hoodie. Hey, I'll be the first to admit I love my melons on a microgrids. I've got two of those. I've got a Wind Pro hoodie that I wore all last year as my hiking layer. Uh, you've, if you've seen any of my winter videos, that's probably what I was wearing at the time. And I also love the, the microgrid toque that I got. That is by far the warmest to weight ratio hat that I've ever had. Uh, it is very impressive and it's very good at wicking as well. So within the last couple of months, Melanzana reopened their store in Leadville and they got flooded regardless of their stock. They got bought out pretty quickly. So the only thing that they had available was basically what they were selling right then and there. Uh, and unfortunately, some people went out there and got into fist fights. Fist fights over a hoodie. Well, this prompted Melanzana to change their uh, policy on how they were doing business. So now, if you want to shop there, you have to go to their store, get a reservation, and then come back on the day and time of your reservation to do your shopping. Well, that's great if you live near Leadville, or at least in Colorado. It kind of sucks if you're through hiking the CDT or the CT. You're not going to be able to stop in and take a zero in Leadville and pick one up. So I just want to say thank you to those morons out there that started fights over a hoodie. You ruined it for everybody else. So today I'm going to give you three options to, to the melons on a hoodie. Uh, higher end, mid, and definitely a budget gear. And that budget gear might kind of be surprising, but I'm telling you, it's good. The first one we're going to talk about is made by a company called Skylight Gear. And by company, I mean one guy. Uh, <laughs> he uh, hand makes everything. Uh, the only way you can buy them is to follow him on Instagram because that's where he'll announce where he's going to make some new products and you can sign up for it. But he makes hoodies, he uh, makes rain jackets, uh, all sorts of different things and uh, just whatever material that he might have in stock. And you know, there's all different fabrics that he uses as well. The one I've got is the, uh, I believe this is the High Loft. If I'm incorrect, I'll put the title down the bottom. Um, but this is it right here. It's got an elastic uh, around the head opening. Does not have a kangaroo pouch or any sort of pocket. I opted for a couple of additional uh, features. So I got, you know, a thumb hole put in, or thumb holes, not just one. And if I can find it. A drawstring for around the waist and that's really actually actually this is really coming in helpful to cinch it up so you don't get drafts coming up from underneath uh, but this weighs in at under 10 ounces and actually this is the heaviest one he's ever made so there you go um, about 127 bucks uh, all total uh, for me you know getting something handmade by like that my own specifications because you have to send in your measurements and they show you how to measure uh, and he double checks with you on everything before he does anything uh, you know 127 bucks I think it was well worth it you know he's just recently graduated college uh, and this is his thing it, it was a hobby it might be a full-time business in the future don't know but uh, follow him on Instagram skylight gear uh, the stuff that he's making is is pretty cool very unique and once again totally customized to you the next option up for bets is uh, coming from Duluth Trading Company and this is their black burn hoodie with neck gaiter uh, <laughs> when I bought this it was uh, $75 I think I bought it in the store um, they're on sale right now in clearance for like 35 bucks uh, so I might actually check in to get another one of these. But the cool thing about this, uh, well, actually several cool things. You've got your big 
kangaroo pouch here in the front. You've got an additional one up top here, zippered, uh, that is, is made of a stretch material and you can actually fit, uh, like my Samsung phone, I can fit in there. Uh, but the really, really cool thing on this is not only you've got a hoodie built in with ways to cinch that up, you have a built-in gator to cover your face. Uh, different type of material, hopefully you can see that. Uh, so the, uh, the fleece runs horizontal on it, it's not like a micro grid or anything. Uh, I did take this out to the sand dunes this year, fantastic. When it gets windy, like all the other ones, you got to put something over top. But really did a bang up job out there, kept me warm, very comfortable. And luckily for me, I had the face gator portion built into it because it got sandy out there. The winds were whipping around, the sand was blowing everywhere, it was a big mess. And this kept me from inhaling a bunch of crap into my lungs. So this is heavier than the other one. I want to say this is pushing, yeah, I, I want to say I measured it. it was like pushing about a pound. So this isn't your ultralight option, uh, but actually for the price for 35 bucks, you know, on sale right now, you can't beat that. So Blackburn hoodie with neck or with gator, check it out. Uh, well, it was well worth it at 75. It's really worth it at 35. So the last option I want to talk to you about, you might not have considered this, but I'm going to throw it out there for you. And this is courtesy of Uncle Sam. This is my Generation 3 cold weather top. Uh, doesn't have a hoodie, as you can tell, but it does have thumb holes and it does have a drop tail uh, on the back, so it's a little bit longer. Hopefully you can see this. That's a micro grid fleece. Um, show that. It's made by Polar Tech. Polar Tech is the same company that makes this fabric, that makes the Skylight Gear fabric. So it's coming from a good source. It's a good quality uh, material being used. Uh, if you don't want a hoodie, this one's got, you know, a long zipper in the front, fantastic. So this might be a better option than any of these for when you're out hiking. So, you know, if you start to heat up while you got your pack on, you can open this up and get some more airflow in there. The, uh, <laughs> the other great thing about this that the other ones don't have, you can get the matching bottoms. That's right. So you can get the long john bottoms of these also. There is your sleep set, okay? Very lightweight. Uh, the top was like 12 ounces when I weighed it. And that's for an extra large. So very lightweight option here to stay warm, especially in the winter. And trust me, I've worn this in the winter. I've worn this uh, three times in Iraq during the winter time um, and, and numerous times you know, out in the field when, you know, when we're out doing exercises, whatever else, uh, this works. It is well worth it. And the great thing is you can find this stuff on like Amazon for like 20 bucks for like the top. That's a fraction of any of this other stuff. So there you go. There's option number three. So I hope you got something out of this. Uh, if at the very least, you're not gonna go off to Leadville and get to a fist fight, you're gonna look at one of these other options definitely follow skylight gear on instagram i'll put a link down below for that the same thing for the uh duluth trading company hoodie that's on sale and well this you can google it yourself uh generation three is what you're looking for oh. all right folks that's all i got for you uh please like subscribe click the bell do all that happy stuff leave me some comments you know what do you use for your uh hoodie for your you know mid-weight layer when you're out there hiking and backpacking uh love to find out about all the different options definitely always looking for the next best thing all right folks talk to you soon